OK， so let's start the new book every day。好了，进入我们今天的词汇部分了。刚刚我们讲了很多地方 ，right？ We we go to different kinds of places like kitchen or living room. So let's learn all the things here. 所以我们来把这个我们家中的各个场所一起来跟出来复习一下。OK， so look at the picture here. Number one， this is where you sleep. We call it bedroom. 这是睡大家睡觉的地方，所以我们叫做卧室。那么，所以卧室这个词非常简单，以床这个单词 bed 来开头这个词。So we call it bedroom. OK, again, bedroom, bed. Number two, this is where you eat. So we call this dining room. OK, so here, dining, not dining. OK, dining, dining room. And number three, we just know Mr. Smith's living room is very large. Of course, we have fun with TV, meet our friends here. We call this Living room, okay. Living room. Next one, wow. Washroom. Actually, we never see washroom. Sometimes it's a bathroom. Okay. So anyway, you can see washroom. Sometimes it's bathroom. 所以这个单词呢，我们再补充一下下。除了我们可以说这个 washroom 之外，我们还要把做 bathroom， 就是 b a t h r o o m。不要叫那么露骨，我们可以不要叫厕所，我们叫卫生间就可以了。Okay, bathroom. Next one, study. Oh, study that means learn. No. Study means a place where you read books, or magazines, and do your homework. 这个地方 study 不是学习的意思，而是名词书房的意思。Okay, study 书房的意思。所以今天我们这小单词记住了。study 这个词除了表达动词学习的意思，它还有表示场所，就是书房的意思。这个一般家里面会有这么一个小房间，专门用来放啊、uh, 什么 shelf and books. Study. And last one, kitchen. Yes, this this kitchen is a small kitchen where you cook dinner here. Okay. Okay. All of them. Number one. Bedroom, bedroom, dining room, dining room, living room, living room, bathroom or washroom, study. The last one, kitchen. So let's start from here. The kitchen first. Well, in the kitchen we can see an electric cooker, some tables, some bottles, and so on. Okay, so number one, electric cooker. Elect, electric, electric cooker. Next one, refrigerator. So here, this refrigerator is red, right? Okay, refrigerator. Slower, refrigerator, 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 refrigerator. Electric, electric, electric cooker. And next one, fridge. We can make it short like fridge. 我们刚刚讲过了，像这个电冰箱单词，一般其实现在很多人都不会用它的全称 refrigerator。我们就直接。说成 fridge， 这是完全 OK 的。所以各位同学，如果这单词不是非常厉害的话，我觉得你可以记下它的短视说法，就是 fridge。但是它的这个全称大家有必要了解 ，OK？ 所以我们再来读一遍这个全称啊，我今天读了无数遍了 ，refrigerator，OK？fridge，f-r-i-d-g，fridge，fridge。Okay, fridge, F-R-I-D-G-E, fridge, fridge. And next one, table, bottle, cup. So we can say. Have a cup of coffee, please. There is a cup on the table. Yep. There is an electric cooker near the refrigerator. We say there are some apples on the table. Ah,、uh, there aren't any bananas on the table. Oh, I like bananas. Are you monkey? <laughs> Let's go to the living room. Number one, television. Television. Remember, zin, s i o n, zin. We also make it short TV. 就像刚刚我们学这个 refrigerator 一样，电冰箱这单词特别长，我们可以把电冰箱短成 fridge, f r i d g 可以了。像 television， 我们在平时说话里面也经常不会说 television， 我们可能会短说 TV 就可以了。And、next one, armchair, 扶手椅 magazine, window, near, door. Is there a window? Yes, there is. Where is the door? Uh, it's near the window, of course. Are there any magazines? Yes, there are. Where are the magazines? Oh, they're on the table. So, all of us here. 好了，我们看一下，我们在今天这几个单元当中，希望各位同学要掌握这几个单词。Wow, we can find them everywhere in our house, right? 今天单词真的非常大，因为都是我们在家里边能够找到的物件 ，right? So, number one, repeat at me. Cooker, cooker. Electric, electric, electric cooker. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a new phrase. So we put the two together to make a
。OK， 总而言之 c o o k e r 这个词代表的是就是专门的是厨具。我们这里要补充一个小单词，这是很多中国学生特别爱犯错的词，因为我们在学习英文当中，大家应该有印象，比如像 work 这个词 ，W U O R K work 是工作的意思，我们会在 work 后面加个 E R 变成了 worker， right？ 同样的，我们在 clean 这个词。干净打扫之后呢，加了一二变成 cleaner， 变成了清洁工。于是乎，很多中国学生就有一个定义说，哦，我明白了，在某些动词后面加了一二，就能变成人。所以在 cook 这个词是煮饭的意思。他就想了，我妈天天煮饭，我妈就跟我们家厨师似的。所以说 ，my mom is a good cooker。我跟你说，你犯了一个天大的笑话，因为 cooker 这个词不是人，而是什么意思啊？厨具的意思。你要这么说，就变成我妈是我们家里特别好用的一个厨具。Oh my gosh！ 所以来快速补脑一下啊，不要瞎说了。那我们看这个词 cook 到底什么意思呢？我们来看一下 cook 这个词啊，它既是动词也是名词，它当动词讲，没错，是煮饭的意思。但是你别忘记了，它如果当名词讲的时候，它是厨师的意思。哎，没错，如果你。非要想说说，嗯 ，My mom can cook very well。我妈煮饭非常好吃，我觉得我妈是最棒的厨师。你可以说 My mom is good 什么呀 ？Cook， 但千万不要说 My mom is good cooker， 因为看到新闻啊 ，cooker 的意思只能表达东西、厨具、炊具的意思。OK， remember that。OK， one small cook， cook， cooker。OK， next one electric。electric 反正是带电，所以说 electric electric cooker 就表示可以通电的这个炊具，所以我们翻译成了电磁炉。OK， let's keep on 继续。Next one middle middle。We often say in the middle of， 所以我们经常会连接一个小的方位词是在什么什么什么的中间，用的是 in the middle of。Next one kitchen is easier at kitchen。This is I told you just now。刚,刚我们在以前是一开始讲过了，它是表示夫人的意思。Someone is married， 一定是表示这个女女性已婚的，所以 this is。Next one us， us 这个词就表示的的，它是一个所属关系，是这个小介词，所以没有特别重要的，我们今天就不多提了。下面单词 left， 那么记忆的用法就是 on the left 这个小用法，所以本课里边出现了大量的一些关于方位介词的用法，记住在左边，在右边是 on the left 和 on the right， 在中间的在是 in the middle of， 所以我们看后面这里面再往下这个 room 这个词，房间。今天我们讲了很多很多房间 ，right？Do you remember？ 还记得吗？来，我先举第一个考考考你啊。嗯、um, ，This is the room where you sleep. What is it? Yes, bedroom. 我看你同学反应非常快啊。我刚刚说是这个屋子是你睡觉的地儿，所以叫做什么呀？睡屋嘛，不是，是卧室，所以 bedroom。啊、uh, ，Next one. This room is where you have fun. Meet your friends. Watch TV. What is it? Yes, living room. 叫做客厅。And last one. This room is the place where you um wash your face, go to toilet, whatever. Okay. So what is it? Yeah, bathroom or washroom. See, 非常 easy 吧。所以我们在这个当中，把房间这个 room 这个词前面加上一些小词，就变成了一些我们说的各种各样的地方，客厅啦。餐厅啦，卫生间啦，等等一系列 room， 不啦不啦不啦。OK， so here room， and next one in， 这是个小句子，在什么里边的意思，跟 of 正好是一样的，所以说 in 是表达在强调里边，而 of 是表示什么什么的的意思。再往下，我们刚讲的 in the cupboard 这个词，刚刚没有提到过，就是在表示什么呀？在这个柜橱里边 ，in the cupboard， for example， my mom often put bowls and plates and some some cool some cookers in the cupboard。妈妈会把一些厨具啦、碗啦、盘子啦放到这个柜橱里面去，就是我们说的 cupboard 这个词。所以柜橱这个词来变 cupboard， 是由 cup 这个词加上 board 连起来 cupboard。cupboard。Next one in the refrigerator， 在冰箱里。所以我们看有一个小 in 的话，可以随意加上各种各样的场所、地点，就表示在什么什么的里边。那在盒子里呢，就是 in the box。OK， 完什么 ？Where 这个小疑问词 ，where。Armchair。Armchair。胡椒爷 ，door 哪儿 ？door living room 客厅 ，near 在什么什么旁边或者在什么附近 ，near。好了，说完 picture picture。好，这是我们这页所有单词，一起跟出来，再次来。OK，once、okay, more left side。OK，cook、okay. cook cooker cooker electric 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 cooker middle 
middle, in the middle of, kitchen. Remember, kitchen, K-I-T-C-H-E-N. Don't drop T. 千万不要丢到这个 T. Okay, kitchen. The next one, this is off, left, on the left, on the right. Okay, this side, room, room, in, in the cupboard, in the refrigerator, where, armchair, door, living room, near, last one, picture. Okay, so this is page one. Okay, page two, 我们看右边这个单词。那这边再说我们的右边，所以 right 这个词其实我们在前面讲过， right 表示正确的意思吧？ right， 比如说我们讲说正确吗？ Yes， you're right。不是说你是你是右边，而是表示你是正确的。所以这个单词记住它有两个意思，一个是正确的意思，一个是表示右边的意思。所以记住它的介词是 on the right。啊， next one， refrigerator， 再次出现那个电冰箱， refrigerator， right side， wall。这个单词发音是 double l 结尾，所以舌头要最后卷一下， wall。last one。Window, window, trousers, trousers. Okay, so all the words. Repeat after me. Can try it again. Right, right, on the right. Refrigerator, refrigerator. Wall, wall. Window, window. Trousers, trousers. Okay, so these are all the vocabulary here. Now let's test you. 看大家是否记住了。We see the bubble and read the words. Okay. The bubble will be broken and read the words. 我们看这里面泡泡们，他们会一个个的崩掉，崩掉哪里就读哪里。Okay, are you ready? 准备好了吗？我们开始快啊。Okay, ready, 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 go faster than me. 谁要比我慢就是大笨蛋。Ready, go. A cooler. Yeah, I'm the best. Middle. Electric, electric cooker, kitchen, Mrs. Uh, off. Come on, come on, come on. Left. Room. In. Right. Refrigerator. Okay. So next page. Ready? 谁要比我慢就是大笨蛋。Are you ready? Go.、Uh, where? Armchair. Door.、Uh, living room. Come on, come on, come on. A mirror. Wow, next one.、Uh, a picture. Wall. Window trousers. Okay, that's all. 好了，我们的词汇和语法就做啊，我们词汇和课文就这么过去了。